Good evening, Heresy fans. Um, fi I'm finally getting around to doing a How I Paint Dark Angels video. Um, so I'm going to do it in a series of um, like small five minute videos um, for each area. I've taken one of the new Mark VI from the Horus Heresy box and built that up. And as you can see, I've already cheated by putting the base metal and wash on. Um, I still don't have any ability to edit videos, so I have to do these live. Um, so the first video, I thought I'd just show you the metal and, and finish it off. Uh, video two will be the black armor highlights. Video three will be eye lenses and um, any reds. Uh, video four will be how to do transfers. And then video five will be how I do my basing. I just want to state really clearly before I start, this is not a how to paint dark angels. This is how I paint dark angels. And it might, it, it's just what works for me. I'm not a professional painter. I paint for fun. I paint for a hobby. Uh, I've... I'm self-taught in the sense that I've, I've, I've just picked things up as I've gone along. Um, there are probably a wealth of, of better quality videos out there um, uh, with people that are far more talented than me. I am probably doing some things wrong, um, but they work for me. So actually, that's a lie. There is no such thing as wrong in painting. Before I get into uh, highlighting up the metal and showing you how I've done the metal, uh, I just want to show you what I'm using because... I've watched a couple of painting videos and no one ever seems to show you their brushes because you can, I, I've got, I, I'm, I'm using two brushes on this model. So I'll be using two different brushes on this model. Uh, one is my trusty Winsor & Newton uh, Series 7 uh, size one, um, which is battered. Look at the state of that. The brush needs a clean. I don't know how to clean it, but I trust it. It does what I want. So that's my sort of my main go-to brush when painting infantry. Um, and then for any detail, like when I do the eye lenses and when I might do some of the edge highlighting around the face, uh, I go to this, which is an Artist Opus Series S triple zero. Um, I kickstarted these brushes when they came out. Um, I'm not a high enough quality painter to be able to tell you whether it's good or not. I just, this brush here, I really like, so I use it. I haven't actually used the other brushes in the set yet. Um, and they will get used when brushes die, but they're, they're the brushes that I'm using. Onto the metal, first of all, then. So, well, to get yourself started, uh, I always build my models on a base separately. I build the bases and paint the bases separately and then break them off. So the model's been built using plastic glue, and I use um, Revel uh, plastic glue, but I think any plastic glue do. I just like the control you get with that. Uh, and then I super glue or lightly tack the feet onto the base so I can snap it away when I need. Um, my metal, uh, I used to use, um, years and years ago, I used to use um, bolt gun metal, which GW don't do. They replaced it with lead belcher, which I just don't like. So I use this, which is army painted gun metal. Um, it's It just seems to work really well. You need to give it a really good shape before you use it, but I pop a bit on there and that's the base that I use for the metal. After that stride, I go to everyone's favourite, the trusty Nolan Oil Shade, and that's a, quite a heavy wash over all the metal areas. Um, and I don't wait for those to dry because I'm impatient, so I use my Happy Hobby hairdryer. If you don't have a Happy Hobby hairdryer, get yourself a Happy Hobby hairdryer. They save you hours in painting. So I've got a little travel hairdryer, which I use to dry my washes off. And then for highlights, nice and simple, um, I use uh, Stormhose Silver again. This paint needs a right good shape before you use it. So I'm going to do my edge highlights on it now, um, just to highlight the metal. Uh, I don't have to go quite as insane on this, but it's what I've chosen to do um, and how I've chosen to do this model. I'm kind of making up the scheme as I go along because I haven't really thought about hand painting Mark Sixes. I know personally when I do my own squads of Mark Sixes, I'm going to not have the studded pad. I'm going to have the resin Dark Angel shoulder pad that's been previewed in the Dark Angel heads um, just because I like to have my legion symbol on this side and i want markings on this side but for this one i'll just have a legion symbol and i might put some markings down on the greaves anyway metal placement on he the mark six um because it's a black model i think like the under armor like the ribbing i do all of that in metal um i was going to do most of the backpack metal but i really like this this sort of layered armor here and i think that'll look really nice highlighted up so i've just gone for like the edges and then the two and this top piece here. The reason I've gone metal on the top piece, on like those cooling vents or whatever you'd call them, is that um, the um, that's just going to be a, a pain in the ass to highlight. So I've gone for metal because it's a lot easier to highlight. 
You'll notice as well um, that I've got little bits of metal on the black. That's not a problem. I'll fix that later when I come on to doing the black thing. So you don't have to be quite so accurate. Um, I do all my uh, Dark Angel weapons fully metal. Um, you can paint the gun casing a different thing if you want to, but I prefer to do that again. Uh, I try to limit the amount of colour on my models and by doing it this way, it speeds up the process. So to highlight these, I'm using my uh, trusty series uh series seven uh i get a bit of paint on the brush i don't do any of this thinning your paints bollocks either like you absolutely probably should um thin your paints but i don't um and then for my edge highlight i just get some paint on the brush wipe it off and just run it across the edges um at the tops where it's likely to be picked out and Again, it's easy to fix. What's good about metallic metals, uh, metallic metals, that's just everything, uh, metallic paints is um, if you don't like the placement of it, you can just wipe them off. So I'm just going to pick out the edges that are at the top of the gun um, where the light's going to hit. Uh, across the front, uh, across the top of the barrel, yada, 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 side of the clip. Back side of the clip, I've already done there. We've got another clip face so here. And this is really weird. I've never painted like with a camera between me and the model before. I want to get a line there as well. And again, it doesn't matter if I overdo it because I can clean it up with wash and, and various things there. At the end, just run a, an edge on there. If you're wondering what the noise of screaming children is, it's a hot day and the neighbour's children are out playing. So I don't have like screaming children normally it's just that they're outside and i'm not shutting the window because it's hot so with the metal on here instead of edging it i'm sort of um just feathering across the top like that uh, so it's lighter on the top where the light would catch it same on these surfaces here and here and then get a bit more paint uh, for these studs on the side i'm just going to put like a a spot of silver around these i realize as well because i'm painting right next to the camera i'm just breathing into the microphone so i suggest when you're using this if you can sort of try and ignore my heavy heavy breathing that would be great that under the light please with that you don't need to go to it i'm not going to highlight these because i think the light catch them quite well anyway but i would like to get these vents on the back so a lot of i would say with this is just it's practice i'm using a paintbrush that i trust i know that sounds really weird but i've used this paintbrush for like better part of two years now and i know what it does if that makes sense like i know where the paint ends up on the bristles and i know how it ends up on the model so i'm quite pleased with that always good to just give it a look over you can always go back in and sort it out i hate this design feature who decided to put a line down the pads there is a way of fixing it i'm sure but i haven't figured that out yet so that's the metal work done on the model i always do metal first because it's easier to fix metal than it is to have to go back and fix all the black again so that's your your metal work as a recap we start with army paint and gun metal paint that over your metal areas then uh, wash it all with non oil shade um which is apparently being newly formatted but i'm pretty certain it'll, it'll behave in the same way and then i edge highlight with storm Host silver I will put a list of all the paints in the description. Um, you can use um, your own metals. You don't have to use that. It's just, like I said, this video is how I paint a Dark Angel. So the first video is a little bit longer because um, I've been talking about, well, actually, no, they're all going to be about 10 minutes. Uh, so video number one, metal. Uh, join me in video two for black highlights. See you in a bit. Bye.